Okay guys, welcome to another video. In today's video, I'm going to talk about pants. Yeah, pants. Uh, in today's video, I'm going to talk about the Duluth Trading Company, Duluth Flex Cargo Pants, Work Pants. And I'll leave a link because they sell a lot of different types of pants. I'll leave a link to this specific pair. So, what's going on here? Uh, by the way, I'm wearing one pair and then I have a second pair here. Uh, what's going on here is <clears throat> it's a mid-weight cotton canvas work pant. Uh, cargo pockets on each side. Uh, cargo pockets in the back. The fabric is the main thing I'm going to talk about in this video. And that it's an 8 ounce cotton canvas with like 3% spandex. And that's what Duluth Flex is. Duluth Flex is a mid-weight cotton canvas stretch fabric that they use in a lot of work pants. I own this pair of pants. I checked because I have an online account with them. And I bought them this spring. It was like March 15th. And I've worn each pair roughly about 30 hours a week. 30 hours a week. Um, I normally work, you know, a 50 to 55 hour work week, and then after I get home, I'm still wearing them, doing stuff around the house. So these have received a lot of hours, and not of casual office jockey type stuff, but of manual labor, physical labor, uh, bending, crawling, kneeling, uh, dirt, mud, snow, water. Uh, you know, sandy environments, you name it, these pants have been there. So with that being said, uh, I wanted to caveat this video by saying that these pants have received a lot of wear, both pants, I'm wearing a pair and these pair. Um, so keep that in mind throughout this video as I talk about these pants. The purpose of this discussion review on these pants is not to say these are bad. The discussion is to put a framework around how durable these pants really are. Okay, so Duluth Trading Company is known for producing innovative workwear. That's what they specialize in. Um, so, for a long time I wore Carhartt until I started to see Carhartt quality going downhill. And the thing with Carhartt is they don't really come out with new products. It's like the the pants, you know, I have from eight years ago are the same pants that I could buy off the shelf today. So they're just pumping pants out. They're not coming up with new ideas. So I strayed away from Carhartt. Um, and also because I saw it was the same style pant, but the quality was just do 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 going way down. So I switched to Duluth Trading Company. Um, I have a, a local Duluth Trading store right down the street from me and uh, and in Minnesota when I say right down the street I mean maybe 10-15 miles away um, so I have the opportunity of going there trying them on feeling the fabrics getting you know trying them on and stuff like that and the store has been around for quite a while and I had never bought any products from there until about two years ago so the other reason I want to do this review is there's not really any other reviews on YouTube. The only reviews of Duluth Trading clothing on YouTube is from Duluth Trading Company. And they're more like commercials or advertisements. They don't give you long-term reviews. They don't they they want to sell their product. And I understand I'm not faulting you for that. It's an advertisement. It's not they're not going to tell you the downsides or the the problems um, that you might run into. So these pants have a lot of features. Uh, I'm not going to go through all of them, just kind of the the uh, the ones to keep in mind. So first, it has it's called a crotch gusset down here, um, and what that is is kind of this diamond-shaped additional piece of fabric to give you a little more uh, freedom of movement. Um, very <clears throat> a very simple modification, but it makes a world of difference. Um, the other thing I like, and I'll roll in pictures, but it has this cargo pocket, and then it has 
these smaller pockets on the outside. So I would keep pairs of pliers, multi-tool screwdrivers, levels, you know, hand pruners, hand saws, you know, you name it. If if it's kind of thin, you know, flashlights, anything, you can slip them in. Uh, the pocket in the back is not billowed, which means it doesn't have a cutout, so it doesn't really like to expand. So if you load this cargo pocket up, it it uh it it doesn't work that well. So keep in mind these cargo pockets are nice, but they're different than like a BDU style cargo pocket, which is good and bad. Uh, good in the fact that if you're not using them, they sit flat. Bad in the fact that if you plan to use them. They're going to billow way out and they're going to take away, they're going to make the pant restrict on your thigh a little bit. It's going to make the, the thigh room a little smaller, if that makes sense. And they're going to stick way out. And you can't really fit a lot of stuff in here. Um, so that I relegate for invoices, paper. Um, you know, sometimes I'll throw some medical supplies in there, or if you're working on like a project, you can throw a handful of screws, nails, a bottle of wood glue, you know, who knows. So, it has these two pockets on the back. Um, Velcro. Uh, I like this and I don't like this. It adds a little extra security, um, but it gets in the way and Velcro over time does wear out. Um, but there's Velcro on the inside of the pocket so you can keep them like that so you can get into them a little easier. So I like that option. Uh, the belt loops are pretty nice. The main thing I like is on the back here, uh, they have it's like a three to four inch belt loop on the back. Um, a problem a lot of guys have is, especially if you have to cinch the belt up kind of tight, uh, the belt will kind of ride up over the pants. So this, it it keeps, it just is more comfortable. Okay, so let's talk about the drawbacks. So real quick, you can see I'm wearing this pair. So the pockets, the outside pockets. Uh, you have this here, many people call this a hammer loop. This is not a hammer loop. This is to clip tape measure, to clip a knife. Uh, what I would do is throw a pair of scissors in there. They fit nicely um, and really secure. The front pockets, what I like about them is they're deep. I didn't measure them, but they're about maybe 12 inches deep. And on this one, it has a secondary pocket. I don't know if you can see that, but it has a secondary pocket. The pocket material is the same fabric as the, the rest of the pant. Uh, this pocket works really good for pocket carrying a pistol. And because the fabric's a little thicker, it doesn't really print that much. <clears throat> So now we're going to get to the, the bad parts of this pant. So this, like I said, is the Duluth Flex material. So it's a slightly lighter weight cotton canvas with like 3% spandex. Um, I'll be blunt and I'll be honest. It's not durable. Okay, so it's more durable than like an off the shelf, you know, pair of blue jeans or something like that. It's even more durable than Vertex pants. It's more durable than 511 pants. I've tried those in the past and True Spec and stuff like that. Those are not work pants. Those are tactical pants that uh, you know, you're know you not doing a lot of hard labor in. Okay, that's not what they're designed for. I'm not saying they're a bad pant. They're just not what I need. Uh, these are marketed as work pants. With that being said, this fabric is not durable. <clears throat> So as you can see, I'm right-handed, so when I kneel down, I tend to kneel with my left knee on the ground, and that's why the left knee has this big hole. Um, the thing is, you know, I can put a patch on this and all that stuff. What I'm going to do is I'm going to return them, because this hole, I continue to wear these pants, but this hole developed after like two months, maybe three months. Um, I don't know if you can pick it up on camera, Maybe it's not focused. You can see those lycra span, those strands. It's like a rubber band. See how much flex? So that's the lycra spans. And that's kind of contributing to the, um, in my opinion, the, the weakness or the, 
the lack of durability within these pants. So cotton in itself is not supposed to stretch, um, or it's not that stretchy. So by them adding this Lycra, what I think it's doing is prematurely wearing this canvas out. Because I've had like Carhartt thick canvas, non-stretchy pants, and they last a lot longer than this. But you can see that this, this fabric, over time, when you first get it, they feel very durable. But UV exposure, uh, wash cycles, dirt getting into the fabric, all these things make the fabric a lot weaker really quickly. Um, I don't know if you can catch this, but can you, can you hear that? I barely even pulled, and it's just deteriorating. You can see the lycra a little better up here, or at least I can, maybe you can on camera. But it... very weak. The other thing that I, I had a problem with Carhartt's doing this too, but where it catches on your boot, this developed within like a month. And I wasn't super disappointed uh, because I was sort of used to that happening. But again, these are marketed as work pants, right? So you can see the fabric there is just insanely weak. So if I was to redesign these, what I'd do is I'd add a cuff um, about four inches up of double layer fabric, or I would add Cordura nylon of matching color for the cuff. Just me personally. You can see the seams, they're triple stitched, very durable. These seams and all the stitching, I'll give it that the stitching is very high quality durable. I haven't had problems with the stitching coming undone. So that's a common problem with lower end pants is the stitching isn't up to par. This is a triple stitched, very durable seam and I haven't had a problem with the stitching blowing out. Um, but, I mean, overall you can see these pants have received some wear. So when I first got these pants, I had high hopes for them. They didn't totally disappoint me because they lasted quite a while except for the blown out knees and the boot cuff ripping. And you might say, well, maybe you got a lemon, maybe you, uh, you know, you need to test a couple more. Uh, the thing is, I have the pair I'm wearing, the pair I was holding up. I have this pair, which is kind of a, a pair of dress khakis. So these don't really receive any wear. And these, these have been holding up just fine because I barely wear them. And then I have these. These were my first pair. This is the jean cut. So I've had uh, quite a bit of experience with a line of the Duluth Flex pants and they all just the fabric isn't all that durable <clears throat> the last thing I want to talk about is Duluth Flex they talk about uh, their tradesman cut so in their shirts and their jackets like their shirts their flannels I wear a large in most other products I wear an XL or 2X so what's weird is their tops are oversized which oversized or traditionally sized whatever um, I mean, their, their shirts, if anything, size down. Their pants, on the other hand, and it could just be because the spandex in these pants, pretty much since the age of 15, I've worn a 34-34 pant. Every other pair of pants I have, 34-34, they fit me perfect. This pair of pants, both these pair of pants are a 36-36 and they fit me very similar to a 3434 pant of any other brand. So, if you're looking at these, size up. If you're trying these on at a store, when you try them on, you want them to be baggy because the first time you wash them, they're going to shrink and shrink considerably. When I tried these on in the store, I already had experience with shrinking of the other pants, and I assumed these would do the same, so I, I was trying on the 30 or the 36 36 and they were very loose in the waist they were really long but from past experience I knew how much they'd shrink I went with 36 36 and they fit me good that's another thing to keep in mind 
not really a fault of the company. It's just strange to me that their their shirts and their tops are oversized and their pants are sized very, very small. So <clears throat> what I'm going to do and the reason I'm making this video today is because I'm about to head to the post office. I'm going to return these. I'm going to return these and I might even return those. The <clears throat> I've used their no bull guarantee or their return policy a couple times before because like I got the wrong sizing or they sent me the wrong color or something like that. But I'm going to see if they stand up to their their guarantee that if you're unsatisfied with like the sizing, the quality, if they tear, if they rip, you can return them for a new pair or a refund. So I'm going to use that to my advantage because I, I don't think I I don't think these are a pr uh, realistic pair of work pants. Now what I'm going to do is instead of getting these again because the same thing will happen, I'm going to exchange them for the Duluth dry on the fly uh, pants, which is kind of a soft shell. It's a hundred percent nylon. So these are an eight ounce cotton canvas and those are a hundred percent nylon 5.6 ounces. So they're a canvas but they're nylon. Nylon is inherently more durable and abrasion resistant than cotton and nylon in and of itself does have a little bit of stretch. They also offer a Duluth or a dry on the fly flex uh, which has some spandex but I, I don't want that. So I'm going to exchange all these for the Duluth dry on the fly pants and uh, see, I'm hoping those are a lot more durable. So real quick, uh, Duluth Training Company is a good company. Um, I've, I've dealt with them, I've worked them, with them a lot, and I've pretty much converted a lot of my wardrobe to Duluth Trading. So when I need to get new pants, new shirts, I don't get designer threads. I buy Duluth Trading, and slowly but surely it's kind of my wardrobe is switching to almost exclusively Duluth Trading Company. So I have nothing against the company and I fully recommend the company. Just keep in mind that some of their products might not be up to par and hopefully they do redesign them. Now, the last thing I want to end with, these pants as a work pant, um, for people doing physical labor, um, lots of moving, lots of climates, lots of different temperature ranges, like what I do, these pants will not hold up. With that being said, if you're maybe an older guy, retired, you have a little homestead, driving a tractor, four-wheeler, doing some gardening, uh, taking care of animals, maybe you're on some like farm, these will last you a long, long time because you won't be really wearing them, or you won't be uh, abusing them, you could say. Uh, if you're a tactical guy, uh, maybe you want a pair of just kind of outdoorsy type durable pants to go shooting on the weekends, these pants are far and above better than 511 True Spec, Vertex Proper, all those ones. So yeah, the company in and of itself is one of my favorites. These pants have not held up for me. They haven't satisfied my need for the perfect pant. Um, if you guys found this video helpful, useful, anything, uh, give it a big thumbs up. Leave comments below. Maybe I'm missing a company here or there. Maybe you found a pair of work pants that are really nice. Again, my list of criteria is kind of specific, job specific, and just personal preference and experience specific. Um, but yeah, if you guys found this useful, helpful, uh, anything like that, give it a big thumbs up, uh, leave comments below, and if you haven't already, go back to my homepage and watch some of my current videos. If you like what you see, feel free to subscribe. We'll catch you on the next video.